You know the people who will ride or die for a game, no matter how busted or broken or boring a game can be, there will always be those people who genuinely do enjoy the experience, like the psychos who say that Redfall is a masterpiece. With rich, beautiful open worlds, a magnitude of weapons, and a wide variety of enemies to square off against, Redfall amazes. Players won't regret staking their claim on Arcane's latest masterpiece. Can't say I agree with that one too much, but people are entitled to spend their time and money how they please. Whatever brings you enjoyment in life, absolutely do it. By I feel like modern gaming has weathered so many people down to the point they're playing through unacceptable experiences and no better example of that is the recent release and the comments I'm reading on my recent video for Battlefront Classic Collection. The amount of gaslighting I've received is making my head spin like Mugatu. Doesn't anyone notice this? I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! Literally the only issue is multiplayer. Stop bitching. Multiplayer is the main focus of the game. Like, yeah, there is a single player mechanic to Battlefront 1 and 2, but you're just simulating multiplayer matches with bots. Like the gameplay is multiplayer, just jump in and shoot a bunch of stuff. So when the multiplayer doesn't work, it means that the game doesn't work. Yeah, there is the whole Galactic Conquest thing that helps kind of give a little more context to like the gameplay if you're playing the campaign through. But again, like I said, you're just playing on multiplayer maps with bots and then you just have the context of whether or not you win or lose meaning something. The reason why people were excited about playing this remastered version, like yeah, the textures are up a little bit less money, but it's not like anything drastically better. Like the main draw to this is to be able to jump online with people to play like it was back in 2005 in Star Wars Battlefront 2, because yeah, you can play the original right now, but it wasn't exactly populated. If you look on Steam charts right now, yeah, it has had a little bit of a population boost because of how bad this game release was, but we can look at the days before for peak concurrent player counts like around 550 just under 600 but then dipping to almost below 200 players at times like yeah that's not a whole lot of servers for you to kind of select from to be able to play with people with battlefront classic collection there were going to be tens of thousands of people playing and you'd be able to jump into any server any mode you'd like to play and have fun like you did back in 2004 so when the key component of the game literally just did not work that makes it a bad game this dude just said these battlefront games were known for its multiplayer what dude 98% of the player base 20 years ago didn't play this game online or even knew it existed online what are you on about like dude yeah I, I get it that like yeah internet connections today are way better than they were 20 years ago I lived through it I don't know I think Halo 2 was definitely known for its multiplayer back in the day and uh, I think same thing with Battlefront 2 like yeah internet speeds were slower but it's not like we were living in the dark ages where it just didn't even exist and I like how sometimes people like to impose pose their own experiences and say them as fact for the general public like saying that 98 percent of the player base 20 years ago didn't even know there was a multiplayer component to battlefront 2 what are you on about remember when i said that modern gaming has just withered people down and i think some people just expect day one experiences just not be good a bit of an overreaction aside from the first day i've been able to play multiplayer fine aside from some lagging here and there you gave it one day i think you're just really playing into the overreaction and it's been one day i don't know call me crazy but when i play a game I kind of expect it to work. Also first impressions are crucial for well anything in life but especially in gaming because that first day is probably going to be the most popular day of that game. So when you have a mass flooding of people to jump on and play at the same time you want to make sure that people can well actually play the game on top of that have it be a good experience which Neither one of those were happening with Battlefront Classic Collection. There were insane visual glitches like on Hoth where just like the textures of like the snow just weren't rendering for whatever reason and I don't know what techno colored acid dream state this game is in but this is not how Hoth is supposed to look. Like this is not just a one-off bug, this is a very common bug that I'm surprised just wasn't captured by Aspire. Maybe it was and they're just like, yeah, you know what, just let it happen anyways. Maybe it's just one of those bugs you can't really test until you throw it out into the wild, but just like crazy visual glitches in this game. And to all those people out there who are saying that the single player experience was free of bugs and any issues, well, let me show you this one. Oh, this one's weird. 
What the? Dude, that was so loud. Was it? Was it as loud? <laughs> yeah, it was, right? What the f was that? Or from my experience, when you play Battlefront 2 single player mode, the audio is just really quiet for no reason whatsoever. And then sometimes you hear these loud audio spikes or crash your audio as well. It's just like, you just play the game and there was these odd bugs that were just not in the original game added into this new version. This next one I actually need to warn my viewers before showing because some people out there might have like vision impairment or like epilepsy warning problems and like this will actually cause that to happen. Like this player just showcases when they're about to try to figure out a spawn point. What's going on with the game, dude? And that previous comment mentioned like, oh, there's some lag in the game. Like, dude, like, there's a lot of lag in this game and terrible hit registration. But if there is no lag, you can still have terrible hit registration like this. Like how many times does this player need to shoot this stormtrooper before they actually go down? Oh wait, no, they're not even gonna have a chance because the way the networking is in the game is like, even if you do get an online server, which apparently they've added more into the game now, it doesn't even mean it's gonna be a good experience. This next clip, I don't even know what happened. I just know if this happened to me while I was playing this game, I just wouldn't want to play it anymore because this is just pure insanity. Like I've seen this happen before. This happened, the similar thing happened to me as well while playing, not to this severity, but very similar experience. And like, this is a very common thing that happened in the game. And then this is, would just be something that would make you not want to play. To be honest, I feel like everybody was expecting way too much out of the multiplayer. I wasn't expecting them to change how the multiplayer worked. So I think they gave us exactly what we should have expected. And I personally have had zero bugs. I'd still rather play this than the new Battlefronts. Dude, the new Battlefront games are good now. Like yeah, at launch could have been better. But the 2017 Battlefront 2 bloomed into in an amazing game and it was about to have a huge comeback, but then EA kind of just cut it at the knees and stopped that from happening. At least the 2017 version of Battlefront 2 captured the experience and the essence of what Star Wars is in a video game, unlike what the classic collection did here with the load screen. I know it might come off as a nitpick to point out the audio changes when it comes to the low screens, but people spend a lot of time in low screens. A lot of times they become iconic parts of the game, much like the Halo franchise. That audio gets burned into your memory permanently, and when you hear it differently, for whatever reason, it just ruins the overall experience. Imagine in the MCC if the Halo theme sounded like this. While we're on the topic of authenticity, I have some screenshots I need to share with you guys. Because according to the classic collection, this is Luke Skywalker. So it's literally just the snow speeder character model holding a lightsaber. I don't know if this is a bug or something, but this is just another thing to add to the list of problems with this game. The map Kashyyyk where all the Wookiees live, you know, that classic planet. Well, this is what looks like in the classic collection version, but this is what the original version looked like like an actual place Wookiees live in. It didn't get replaced with just generic tree background. Something about this Darth Vader texturing just looks so weird. Like the helmet's too large or something. He even has a dent on his left side for whatever reason. Like something about this face just looks like he's crying for help, which honestly might be an accurate representation of Darth Vader. But what I'm about to show you next is 100% cursed. Now it built it up more, but let me just show you guys what they did to our boy Mace Windu. What the hell is that? Like his eyes are lopsided and he, for some reason he has like beaver teeth. Like what the, who approved that? There's no way there was any form of QA done with this game. And judging by the like to dislike ratio on my main video, I can tell that majority of you guys enjoyed the content, which I really appreciate. You guys knocked it out of the park with that video. But when I read some of these comments, man, I feel like I'm getting absolutely gaslit. I'm just like, am I wrong in this situation? And like I said at the top of this video, if you guys enjoy the game, play it. Do whatever you do in life that brings you enjoyment. For me, personally, that wasn't Battlefront Classic Collection. Now I'll go on and play some Battlefront 2 because I feel like that's like far superior game that actually plays like a Star Wars Battlefront game should play like. If you enjoyed the video, like, always appreciate it. Subscribe for more content. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.